Hello everyone. In this video, you have this nice problem. You have x minus y is equal to 2, then x to the power 2 plus y to the power 2 is equal to 4. And we have to find the value of x to the power 2030 plus y to the power 2030. I'll be using two approaches to solve this problem. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. So from the first approach, let's make x the subject from this equation. So we have x is equal to 2 plus y. Okay, so now let's plug the value of x from this equation to this one. So we have 2 plus y all squared then plus y squared is equal to 4. Now let's expand this. So we have 4 plus 4y plus y to the second power plus y to the second power is equal to 4. Now from here, let's equate everything to 0. So we have y squared plus y squared is 2y squared, then plus 4y, then plus 4 minus this 4 is equal to 0. Alright, so from here, let's simplify it. We have 2y squared plus 4y is equal to 0. Now, let's divide each term by 2. So, we have here by 2, here by 2, then this side also by 2. Alright, so we have y to the second power plus 2y is equal to 0. So, from here, we can take y common. So, we have y into y plus 2 is equal to 0. So at this point, we can say that y is equal to 0 or y plus 2 is equal to 0. So from this equation, let's make y the subject. So we have y plus 2 minus 2 is equal to minus 2. So we have y equals negative 2. All right. So now we know y equals 0 and then y equals 2. So what actually happens to x when y is 0? So from this equation, which is x is equal to 2 plus y, let me write it here, x equals 2 plus y. So when y is 0, we have x equals 2. Now let's go to this side. When y is equal to negative 2, we have x equals 2 minus 2. So this implies that x is equal to 0. Okay, from this side, we know y equals to 0, and then x equals to 2. Then from this side, we know our y to be negative 2, then x equals 0. So now let's plug these values into this equation. So we have x to the power 2030 plus y to the power 2030 is equal to what? Okay. So we know our x to be 2, so we have 2 to the power 2030, then plus y is 0, so we have 0 to the power 2030, okay? So from this side, we can say that we have 2 to the power 2030, all right? Now let's move on to this side. So from here, we know our x to be 0, so we have 0 to the power 2030, then plus our y to be negative 2 to the power 2030. Okay, now we have negative 2 to the power 2030, and this is also the same as 2 to the power 2030, since the power over here is even number. Okay, so in either ways, we have the final answer to be 2 to the power 2030. Okay, so now let's move on to the second approach. So from this approach, I'm going to raise each side of this equation to the second power. So we have x minus y to the second power is equal to 2 to the second power. All right. So now from here, let's expand this. So we have x to the power 2 minus 2xy, then plus y to the power 2 is equal to 4. Okay. So now I'm going to name this equation as my equation star then from this equation we have 
x to the power 2 plus y to the power 2 is equal to 4. And I'm going to name this equation as my equation hash. All right. So then I will say that equation star minus equation hash. So we have x to the second power minus 2xy plus y squared, then minus equation hash, which is minus x to the second power minus y to the second power is equal to 4 minus 4. So from here, you can see that this x to the power 2 will take care of this negative x to the power 2. Then this positive y to the power 2 will cancel this negative y to the power 2. So we have negative 2xy is equal to 0. Okay, now let's divide each side by negative 2. So we have here negative 2 and this side negative 2. So we have xy is equal to 0. All right, so xy equal to 0. What does it mean? Well, three cases can be considered here. It's either x is equal to 0 and then y is never equal to 0. That's the first case. Then the second case is that it's either y is equal to 0 and then x is never equal to 0. And the third case is that x is equal to 0 and then y is equal to 0. So if x is equal to 0 and then y is never equal to 0, then what is y? Alright, then from this side, if y is equal to 0 and then x is never equal to 0, then what is x? So now let's check that one from this equation, x minus y is equal to 2. Okay, so if x is equal to 0, from this side we have 0 minus y is equal to 2. So we have negative y is equal to 2. So we can say that y is equal to negative 2. Okay, so from this side, if x is 0, we have y equals negative 2. So now let's come to this side. If y is 0, we have x minus 0 is equal to 2. So this implies x equals 2. Okay? So now we know that when x equals 0, y equals negative 2. And then from this side, when x equals 2, y equals 0. Okay? Now plugging these values into x to the power 20, 30 plus y to the power 20, 30. From this side, we have 0 to the power 20, 30. Then plus negative 2 to the power 20, 30. This gives us 2 to the power 20, 30. Since the exponent is positive. Then from this side, we have 2 to the power 20, 30 plus 0 to the power 20, 30. And this is nothing but 2 to the power 20, 30. So guys, we can conclude that the final answer for this problem is 2 to the power 20, 30. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.